Micah Parsons these days can be seen around Dallas at Mavericks games. Parsons wasn't at Cowboys OTAs today. He's missed parts of the last two springs. Here's head coach Mike McCarthy when asked if his star pass rusher is missing opportunities by not showing up fully. I think anytime you have a chance to, you know, to be together, it's 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 a it's an opportunity to improve, whether it's in the mental realm, the physical realm, uh, which is you know limited, obviously this time of year, but you know in the in the, in the emotional connection and so forth. So, um, but you know it's uh, it's it's a long year. Training camp is really the the heightened you know focus for all that. But yeah, it's definitely an opportunity that's been missed. So Micah Parsons is not here today. I'm not doing attendance. Yeah, that's that's you know we try to have some you know lightness to it. I'm I mean I'm not going to come up here and talk about one player, especially when you know there's 98 percent of the guys are here. Mandatory mini camp takes place next week. Parsons has his sack totals. He's seen them increase each year. He's been a pro from 13 as a rookie to 13 and a half last season, and then a career high of 14 in 2023. Here's CBS Sports writer Garrett Padell. The talk of Dallas Cowboys OTAs today wasn't who was in the building. 98% of the roster for 100% of the offseason program, according to head coach Mike McCarthy, but rather those who weren't, and in particular, all-pro edge rusher Micah Parsons. Parsons spent the opening part of the offseason program in Tokyo with Texans QB CJ Stroud as an ambassador to grow the game of football in Japan. Since returning to Texas, he hasn't been at OTAs. Missed last week opting to box, and this week he showed up on Wednesday for the team's Jumbotron recordings and other broadcast elements, but a no-show today at OTAs, something that head coach Mike McCarthy called an opportunity missed in terms of being able to gel with new defensive coordinator Mike Zimmer and his scheme, as well as lead some of his teammates. Ten-year veteran wide receiver Brandon Cooks told me in the locker room after practice that he relishes OTAs, and the only time he ever missed was because of the pandemic, and he appreciates this time because he can continue to grow with his quarterback, as well as lead young receivers. Pro Bowl left guard Tyler Smith also told me the mental part of the game and the technique are things that he really appreciates about the organized team activity period, and that's something Parsons missed here this week. OTAs this time of the year could be over the way we know it come next season in terms of highest paid defensive players by AAV. Certainly Micah Parsons deserves to be on this list, but the fact is he's set to make $5.4 million for Dallas this season.